Hi there, i um, going to have a look today at a relatively new product from IT Studios. It's called the Sonoff S20 and it is a, a Wi-Fi enabled plug socket. Um, the version that I've got here today is the UK version, as you can see from the UK plug. And uh, as you can also see, it works for anything from 90 volts to 250 volts AC with a maximum load of 10 amps. The software, the, the machine comes with um, its own firmware installed and you can download apps to work with um, an iPhone or, or an Android app uh, is available as well, which can control the socket. Um, being able to control a home automation system using one single app is is all very well, but unfortunately, you know, if you've got a mixture of, of home automation devices, as I do in my home, um, then it's a bit of a nuisance having perhaps one socket um, based in, in one piece of software and, and your uh, your home heating, you know, using another piece of software. So eventually what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to reflash it with some firmware called ESP Easy, uh, which is an MQTT um, a based piece of software um, and that will allow me to control the socket. I'll then use um, a, a, a piece of software called OpenHab which uh, is an open sourced um, a sort of server which will uh, control your home. OpenHab unfortunately won't talk to IT's own firmware so before I can actually use this socket in my own system um, I need to upgrade the, soft the, the firmware on the machine and we're going to do that first of all by opening it up um, I know already before I open this up that IT has left a, a serial header on the board and with that serial header we should be able to upload our own firmware or the ESP Easy firmware onto it. So first things first, I'm going to take this thing apart. Um, as you can see, there's not a lot going on on the back here. There is however this sticker and a little kind of rub of my finger tells me that something is perhaps underneath it. I think this is the uh, Chinese warranty sticker. If I could read Chinese, I would know this. Um, so let's just see if we can get that sticker out of there and see what kind of screw we're dealing with. And it's a crosshead screw, a Phillips screw that's in there. So let's see if I can get that undone. It's a little bit stiff, but here it comes. And uh, if a bit of luck, this won't be too difficult to unclip. Oh, it's not bad at all compared to some of these. Um, I've managed to get that out just using my thumb. Um, let me just put this switch back in place so that I don't lose that. And uh, we'll put this aside just now. That's just the front of the socket. Here we've got the um, plug itself. Oh, that just pops off, which is really, really nice. And uh, on board we have the circuit board. So these, uh, I've seen pictures on the internet where they've used European plugs, um, but the electronics are, are more or less the same, I think, regardless of the, uh, the socket type that they're using. Um, so it's just really um, this bit here that we're interested in. Having a look at it on the uh, board, we can see that um, the power comes in, there's a relay switch here. This is what's actually going to operate the socket. Um, we've got a switch here, which is um, on uh, switch to the front. The, that is also the switch that we're going to use um, to put this into the bootloader mode when we come to update it. The bit we're really interested in is this here, which is an unpopulated header. And uh, compared to other Sonoff for, uh, hardware that I've seen, um, IT really have embraced the fact that people are, are uploading their own firmware to these machines and they've made it easy. They've even uh, labelled all the connectors for us as well. So I'm going to see if we can get a header onto this. Um, to do so I'm just going to see if I can pull this socket out. I'm not sure. Oh yep, it's got a couple more screws there that are holding it in place. So we'll just unscrew them. These are pretty cheap to buy, but they're not bad quality at all. Um, so here we go. Let's just have a look at the back here. You can see in the back here, hopefully, um, that this 
over here is all the mains controlled things. They've separated the boards pretty well in this case. And over here you've got your ESP8266 based uh, microcontroller. Um, and that's the EEPROM that the, uh, the firmware is going to be flashed onto. So before we uh, go any further, what I'm just going to do is just pop on, and I think there'll be space for it, um, a four pin header, which uh, I happen to have one here. I had a good guess that it was going to be four pins. And um, let's see if I can't get that soldered on. So, to program the firmware, this is what I'm using. It's a straightforward serial adapter. I don't know if you can see, it's a FTDI chip that's on there. Um, the important thing if you're going to be using one of these serial to USB adapters is um, the ESP8266 chip runs on 3.3 volts. Um, and just want to make sure that you have an adapter which is able to run at 3.3 volts and that it's correctly set before you plug it into the computer. So here's how I'm going to set it up. Um, on the back here you can see that um, we have earth, ground, TX and RX. Um, and we're going to wire it as such. The red my case here is my VCC, my black is the ground, the blue I've got here is the TX and we're going to connect the TX here onto the RX of the Sonoff, which means the TX of the Sonoff will be connected to the RX of the receiver. Um, I'll plug this in. Um, the only thing here, as I'm plugging this in, this will just power up the Sonoff um, into its normal mode. Um, unless I hold the power button, the, the, the Wi-Fi button down as I connect it. Um, so, what I'm going to do just to put it into its bootloader mode, is I'm first of all going to plug this in. And then what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to hold down the button, the Wi-Fi button, take the power off for a second, plug the power back in, and uh, then take my finger off the button. And that should put it into the bootloader mode. Um, so we'll go to the computer now, we will download some software, and hopefully flash the chip. Okay, so I'm going to go to the Let's Control It website, the link's in the description. Um, and I'm just going to go and find the firmware. There's two sets of firmware available for this currently. One is called R120, which is the last stable release. And then the next is R147, release candidate 8. Uh, I've been using this on a number of devices and it's very, very stable. So that's the one that I'm going to install on my Sonoff S20. Um, I downloaded the zip file, uh, which came down absolutely fine. And then I've extracted it into its folder. Inside this folder you'll find several different versions of the firmware, all designed for ESP chips with different EEPROMs attached. There's uh, the flash dot command um, is a little applet which will, or a little batch file which will, will quickly automate the process of uploading it. So I tell it which COM port I'm using, I tell it what size of EEPROM I'm using, and I tell it the um, release candidate number that I'm using as well. And as you can see, the rest of it's done for you pretty much automatically. Um, if at this point um, you don't get the writing flash uh, dialogue appears. Um, probably what's happened there is, is that you've not quite gone into the bootloader mode. So if that's the case, then you just unplug the power, hold down that button again, put the power back on again, and then um, a, hopefully it will enter bootload mode. As I say, you can see it's very, very um, simple to do, and it, it doesn't require a lot of um, input from the user here. You could do this manually, but I don't really see the point when um, the batch file is doing it all for you.
So just in a moment or two, that's going to finish its upload, um, just when we run out of dots. Um, and what happens once the upload is complete is that the, um, I'll reboot the, the chip. I'll just take the power off it and back on again. And then if you have a look, a new Wi-Fi uh, network will appear called ESP0. Um, that is the uh, the actual Sonoff chip, it's, uh, or the chip on board the Sonoff. And that's where I'm going to go to now to um, basically tell this chip how to connect to my Wi-Fi network. So we'll give it a second or two, and then it's going to open up to its, um, its Wi-Fi setup wizard. So here we go, that's my Wi-Fi network. Um, here's my incredibly secure password. Um, yep, indeed, very much my very secure password. Um, and then we connect to the Wi-Fi network. Um, in about 20 seconds or so, it will uh, shut down the ESP chip on board, it will restart it, and it will attempt to connect to my Wi-Fi setup. In my next video, um, what I'll do is have a look through the rest of the setup of the ESP, the ESP Easy software.